At 72 years old, this Gainesville oncologist sometimes finds it difficult to get to the gym, so he started exercising inside his home. I just uh, bought a little pedaling device here that um, I set up with an old exercise chair that I had. Some of these devices were self-made, others purchased, what their purposes it was a, a impulse purchase are still debated but i haven't really made use of it at least they all serve one purpose for dr stephen stall so i'm just always looking for um devices that'll give me more mo mobility mobility as in this collection of prosthetics that stall uses for his left leg lost in the 2016 accident while biking home from work the bus turned right into the traffic circle i was at the stop sign alongside the bus. Starr tried to make a right turn and so did the RTS bus. He was rushed to Shands Hospital where surgeons amputated his leg. Dr. Stahl sued the city of Gainesville which runs RTS bus system and settled for $176,000. And this is just one of 167 insurance payouts totaling more than $1 million involving RTS buses for the past five years. Very nice, very nice, good job. RTS spokesperson Thomas Idoyeager says they have seen fewer claims since 2017, in part because of increased safety training. We hired a new safety supervisor, and this supervisor has helped when there's an incident, he retrains the driver. Besides making buses more visible in heavy traffic. All our buses have lights that are on the higher end of the back of the bus, so other cars can see those uh, lights from further. RTS is also testing equipment like this sensor to help drivers identify pedestrians or bicyclists in blind spots. When I bike, I wear a helmet, I wear a high visibility vest as I was wearing on that day. Stahl still keeps his vest and bike he had on the day of the accident. So it, it, uh, the accident uh, ripped the pedal off and, you know, with my foot on it hoping nobody has to pay the same price. You know, they're the people on the line, and so they, in a way, they have to advocate for the safest driving conditions possible. Paul McWill, WUFT News.